This is one of multiple Juno 3 lab videos. So we now need to enable PPP chap authentication between router 1 and router 4. We're going to use a password of Cisco for the authentication. So PPP chap between these two routers. I'll disable debugging on router 1. And then create a username of router 4, password of Cisco. The passwords need to be the same on both sides because we're going to be using a hashing algorithm. So interface serial 2 slash 0, encapsulation PPP, PPP authentication, chap. Interface has gone down because we haven't configured PPP on this side. So this interface will eventually go down, shown as up at the moment. But we're going to create a username of R1. You can see the interface has just gone down. Password Cisco interface serial 2 slash 0 encapsulation PPP PPP authentication chap. So chap authentication is actually a lot easier to configure than PAP authentication. On this router, show run interface serial 2 slash 1. That's the PAP authentication, and that's the CHAP authentication configuration. So on router 4, we should be able to ping router 1. This is the local IP address. And on this side, this is the local IP address. So ping 10.1.3.1. Router 4 is able to ping router 1. Show IP interface serial 2 slash 0. You can see, or rather show interface serial 2 slash 0. You can see that PPP has been negotiated. IPCP and CDP have successfully been negotiated on both sides. On this side as well, show interface serial 2 slash 0. 2, PPP, LCP is open. The NCP for IP version 4 and CDP has successfully been negotiated. So let's do some debugs, debug PPP negotiation. On router 4, I'll shut the interface down and then no shut it. We can see a similar type of negotiation taking place but the authentication protocol being negotiated is CHAP. So authentication protocol negotiated through LCP is CHAP. Scrolling down, authentication is gonna take place in both directions. There's a challenge from router one, and there's a challenge from router four. So router one is sending a challenge to router four, and router four is sending a challenge to router one. There are responses in both directions. Authentication takes place and is successful. So two-way authentication has taken place. In other words, router 1 has authenticated router 4, and router 4 has authenticated router 1. And they both passed the authentication. So the authentication is successful. They're negotiating IP version 4. Notice there's the IP address of router 1. There's the IP address of router 4. So her address is 10132. That's all successfully negotiated and a route is added to the routing table. So show IP route. That is the IP address of router 4 through serial 2 slash 0. Show CDP neighbors. Notice router 4 is connected via serial 2 slash 2. That is the IP address of router 4 which we saw previously on the side. So ping 10132, ping succeeds. So let's stop the debug and do a debug PPP authentication. I'll shut the interface down again and then no shut it. We can see the authentication in real time. So there's a challenge from router one, challenge from router four, response from router one and router four, Success inbound, success outbound, login passed. So everything passed and we have an up interface. So this interface is up, up. And again, 
we can ping router 4. So we've successfully enabled two-way chat authentication. We've used debug commands and show commands to verify that chap negotiation has successfully completed. Now we need to use Wireshark to view the output in real time and answer some questions.